This is exactly what I did to transform my life. How exactly can you glow up this year? I will break it down for you step by step. The number one thing that transformed my life was actually thinking about my future self. What might I need in the future? And what can I do today to get closer to my future self, the person I dream and aspire to be? How can I live in that vibration right now? How would this person act? What would this person do? The next thing I started to do was a closet clean out. I got rid of colors that don't suit my skin tone, my eye color. I found my signature scent and I started to embrace more feminine colors. The next thing I started to do was romanticize my life. So by romanticizing my life, I started to focus on my environment, the things that I saw day to day, how to make the things that I use every single day beautiful. I started to keep good things around me that reminded me of good memories that I have like specific things that I bought or specific things that would take me to a place where I traveled like a souvenir like a special token that I keep with me to bring me back to that place. I would romanticize myself by wearing silk PJs or by having silk pillows and just doing any small thing that can make me feel feminine, beautiful, and like I am living a good life. <laughs> and this also includes my playlist. I started to listen to more jazz because I do love jazz. And I started to stop listening so much to R&B because I just overplay R&B so much. Because music can also transport you to a different place. I didn't want to have the same feelings and when I played the same songs I started to have the same feelings and I want to be I want to create a new vibe a new mood so I just had to completely change my playlist the next thing I want to say is to document your life like a movie you don't want to forget these beautiful moments these in between things that you were doing in your life when you're 80 years old so I always try to romanticize my life by documenting my life like it's a movie and seeing what I thought, what I was doing, where I was, how I looked and this really gets me excited for my life. So take pictures of your favorite moments and don't forget it. You have to go through every single item in your closet and ask yourself if this piece makes you inspired and happy to wear and if it doesn't inspire joy then you should get rid of it. I started to do and invest in myself in small ways by taking new courses to further my education. I would Google the best, the best scents to wear for women. I would Google the best eyeliner for my eye color, the best lip shade. I started to do all the research. And if you guys have any beauty tips down below, don't forget to comment that and share it with other ladies who also want to use your tips the next thing you can do to level up is actually to invest in jewelry. I don't have my jewelry piece that I got recently, but I have this beautiful um, chain and it's emerald green and I just, oh my gosh, I should have worn it for this outfit because it's perfect. And like these emerald green earrings and I feel so luxurious in that. Like I feel like, oh my God, I wish I can wear it on a daily so i start to embody that energy more because i feel so luxe and amazing i encourage you to challenge yourself every single year to do something new and put yourself in a new world a new environment get new friends surround yourself with different activities and expand the person who you are so i challenge you right now to book that call or that course or do something that you usually wouldn't do and step out of your box and get out of your own shell this really helped me level up in all aspects of my life because i'm expanding as a person i'm becoming better and, and romanticizing your life includes taking pictures doing the weird things like enjoying your life and doing things you don't normally do and enjoying the little moments you know I have to include a vision board that you have to create for yourself. Think about all the goals you want to accomplish in the new year and what steps can you take to get and achieve that goal. Write it down, break it up step by step. Write down what you want. The secret is really just to know what you want. And by knowing what you want, you will slowly subconsciously take the steps to get there. I don't know the science behind it, but I know that it really works because 
when I know that I want to achieve something, automatically, slowly, every action that I take moves towards getting that thing or being in that place, that vibration, feeling what I want to feel.